after the draw, retreat stepping back in the furikaburi posture. Even though it is thought to look to the enemy after your kaiten and before you draw and cut, everything happens quickly. So one should know what are the conditions and guard himself with the mai, ready to cut. After considering that, step forward and cut in a makogiri. Swing the blood away with the chiburi and return the sword to the saya, doing the noto. Be careful with this wrong grip. There should not exist those spaces between your palms and the tsuka. They will lose your grip. Also, they cause this accentuated angle in the elbow and raise the shoulder, making it tense improperly. Even more, it establishes a posture that isolates the wrist from all the rest. Instead of it, keep the grip firm and with comfortable angles. When you cut in makugiri from furikaburi, it's useless to try to use the power of the hands. Start feeling and pushing your elbows downwards until the middle of the movement, when you notice that the angles of your wrists fit to transmit the power from the hara and from your step. Also, when you step forward, keep the hips in the same height. Rising your bases will make you instable and unable to sustain the reaction of your cut. In this case, the left hand is the one in which the power expresses the most, and the right hand presses but is relaxed and cannot be contracted. The correct pressure of the tsuka in the palms is a condition to express the hara in terms of your hands. Rotate the hand in order to have equilibrium in this expression. Another understanding that brings a very interesting condition when moving with a sword is the emptiness between the two hands. It is very related to the focus that one may have in the cut or hit when we consider the triangles that sustain this geometry and how this emptiness can be used in the transmission of the energy. Mitsuke is an important concept in martial arts, widely practiced and used in Yaijutsu. It could be understood as visual contact only, but more deeply and abstractly, it could be interpreted as the sight of the mind or attempt to see with the eyes of the mind. One of its expressions can be observed when your spirit gets calm and you get aware, you live what and how you have to do something. So. It's an interesting practice to stop before you start a kata or some practice. Feel your mind, get aware of your feelings and your thoughts, and visualize what you have to do. With the time and practice, this principle will expand in yourself and become a very powerful means to involve your mind, body and technique in an instant. <laughs> 